This is Ben Murray, founder and instructor at the SAS Academy, and welcome to the SAS Gross Margins lesson. First, we'll define gross margin. Gross margin is the variable profit contributed by one or many revenue streams after covering the direct operating expenses of those revenue streams, and we'll talk about this in a little more detail. So our overall gross margin, first we need total revenue. So of course, total, total revenue for SAS may include recurring revenue, professional services, transactional, and other revenue streams. For COGS, we need our department expenses that directly support our revenue streams. So our gross margin formula is simply total revenue minus cause, COGS equals gross margin. But in SAS, we need to have a little more definition in our cost of goods sold. So of course, we still have our total revenue, but we need the departments within our COGS that directly support our revenue streams. And in SAS, this traditionally includes support, professional services, customer success if they don't sell, and DevOps. So think our hosting infrastructure. That equals our gross margin. So the SAS P&L is key to calculating gross margins. With clear revenue streams, and the departments that support our revenue streams, it's very easy to calculate our gross margins and to determine the performance of our SaaS business. And I hate to break it to you, but this is not a SaaS p &L. It's very difficult to read, and it's almost impossible to calculate our gross margins and any other metrics related to our SaaS business. With the proper setup of a SaaS p &L, we can easily calculate our gross margins based on our revenue streams less our COGS to equal our gross margin or our gross profit. And with the setup of our SAS p &L, we can easily calculate our revenue specific gross margins. So for example, our recurring revenue gross margin, we line up our recurring revenue, less support, less customer success, less cost of ops, aka DevOps, to calculate our recurring revenue gross margins. And for services, we simply take our service revenue stream, less our service department expenses to get our service margins, and so on. One quick note about revenue. Make sure you have clear definition in your revenue streams. So clearly define subscription revenue, transactional, etc. Make sure you're not mixing revenue streams with each other, for example, coding services to recurring revenue and vice versa. Otherwise, we'll never be able to calculate our, our revenue specific gross margins. Thanks for joining me today in the SAS gross margin lesson.